hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how to fix error uh, no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it so on this socket exception you see on the screen it is getting uh, in the api that i am trying to call and so here we have dotnet core 7 application but you can get the same error in asp.net mvc or dotnet uh, core 3.1 also so um, we have these two two projects here and in this one we have called the api and the api is created in the other project okay so i am trying to use this api and i am getting the error so uh, whenever you get this error then you have to check the url which you are trying to hit for the api so uh, for example if we run the application again So when you run the application again, so this is um, one port seven zero seven five, and here we are calling the API. So uh, you see, uh, in this error, it has told about the port which it is not able to connect to. Now you have to concentrate if this is the correct port uh, on which the API is working or not. Okay, so how you will do that is you will close the applications and then you will go to the API, right click on that and go to properties. So in this one, we have to check the debug. so here you can see in the debug and uh, so this is a uh, like different setting for uh, .NET Core 7.0 but uh, uh, in your other project it will be like simply on the UI and you will be able to see so basically we are trying to fetch the URL for the API so you see here the URL is 7.2.7.0 and we have used a different one 7.2.7.5 so now we, if we change it to 7 two seven zero here okay so I am changing this to the one that is for the API and now we will run the application again so uh, in the meantime I will show you how you will check in the other projects okay So like this is simple MVC project in that if you want you can go to properties and in the web part here you will see the URL directly okay so this will be the port of your uh, API so you just have to click on the API project and this one is not the API project that we seen but you can click on your uh, API project and you will see the same structure and same uh, options like here okay so now coming back to the um, .NET Core 7.0 so uh, we fixed the URL here and now we have run the application
and here it came on the API so last time we were getting uh, the error of uh, could not connect and this time we will see uh, if we get the same error or a different error so the response is completed and you see um, this time we are getting a not found error but that is basically um, because of the API not because of the port so basically the um, API has been hit and the error that you were seeing earlier will be resolved in your scenario okay so you can try that out and let us know if you face any kind of issue and thank you